you take it out, shoot the visual. You know what I'm saying? It's just like that, you feel me? Okay. All right. So you doing you doing your six years? What are your plans when you get out? Like, I know you want to see your kids. I know you got a son. You know you got kids and my, stuff my like plan, that. My plan, my plan was like I ain't gonna lie. I was on some shit. Like, music was my passion. So I always had like felt like damn like story mode. Like, boom, this shit gonna be a story. Like, then I always had people along the way that I'm that was from the city that know my story and they always told me I had a story and that. I need to keep going with that rap shit, so I just kept fucking with that rap shit. I just kept writing. When I go through shit, like I say, I just write. You feel me? Whatever I was going through. And I ain't gonna lie, that's why I got some of my best music in. You know what I'm saying? I like so, You feel me? Okay, and so talk about getting out. Like, how, how was the transition from being incarcerated six years? Like you said, it was hard to get phones and stuff like that. So you come out, it's Instagram, smart, every, every, every five year old got a tablet and stuff like that so how was that i mean i always read books and shit when i was incarcerated i always read books and i always try to keep up with like technology and the shit that was going on mm -hmm. whatever come through the flap like i want to get shit sent to me but you know what i'm saying i met people in there that was fortunate you know what i'm saying that was getting shit and i read them bitches and i keep up with the swag and how to see what's going on and i listen to the music too niggas was dropping tapes and shit like you know what i'm saying kodak and them all them boys and young boy like them boy had came out and I was listening to music and the things that they were saying was keeping me involved with time. Okay. And I picked up, you know what I'm saying, from the street nigga, they were speaking to do. Okay. And how was that like seeing that transition? Cause you went to you went to you did your bid and then Kodak came out and he was a young kid that had young success like you did, but you just got incarcerated. So how was it seeing another young kid from Florida, you know, make that rise to the top like that? It just let me know that like it just let me know, like, like, it just showed me that my mind was already on track. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to think, like, like, we had ice and shit. We had diamonds and shit before Migos. You know what I'm saying? Before Kodak Grill. You know, them boys down south were more on, like, gold. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? We was already inheriting Texas swag, which, you know what I'm saying, rich, or really originated in Texas. We just right. adapted their swag and we just brought it back. That's all we did. We just brought it back. And like I said, we did that before Kodak and them, so to actually see rappers doing what I know me and my niggas had, you know what I'm saying, at the time that it started. So it just let me know that I was always thinking right. So if I kept thinking, then eventually my time would come. Yeah. Okay. So, so getting out of prison, you know, you out now. So what was, what was what was some of the things that you you immediately got into that you you felt like you needed to do ASAP? Like you just wanted to start a business, or you wanted to get a job? What was your thing? Getting my kids light. Like, I wanted to be in my kids light. Like, that's the first thing I want to do. Okay. I came home. I had my kids probably like three months straight. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I ain't had no place to stay. Shit. I was living with my mama for real, but I ain't give a fuck. I had my babies. I was free. And, and we ate, we did everything, you know what I'm saying? We hung out, we did what we supposed to do, we did everything every day. And I just really enjoyed that. That was like the first thing I did, trying to be a father, you know what I'm saying? Catch up on shit that I had missed, you know what I'm saying? You know. Okay, and just talk about like how, how the people received you when you came home. Did you get like a lot of people calling you and showing you love or was it just like you was a regular guy again? Did you get out a regular guy again? I, I, I got a lot of love. I got a lot of love. But you know what come with love like. You know what I'm saying? I felt like a lot of people ain't really want to see me out. You know what I'm saying? As far as they felt. You know what I'm saying? I might come home and I might get in their way in some type of way. Not saying niggas feel like that. But you never know how niggas feel, you feel me? For their own reason, they might say, oh, this nigga might think he rap better than me. This nigga might think he trap better than me. Or my bitch might used to like this nigga. Nigga had their own reason, you right, feel right, me? Right. So with that being said, like, Okay. All right, so so when you got out, you know you started dropping music, and and people was people was loving your music. So just talk about coming out and just people still loving your music and no still rocking with you, and, and where you want to take that momentum. I feel like people was people was ready to hear what I had to say. You know what I'm saying? Because people was already tuned in to the story, and like I say, everybody want to 
read the last chapter of a good book. You feel me? And that's really what it was. People just want to know what I had to say. And at the time, I had something to say. And I knew music, like I said, on my platform. And, I, you know, I dropped, I came home, I dropped, I dropped, um, it is what it is. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I was just like my, that was my, 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 you know, that was my intro to freedom. You know what I'm saying? Being free. Like, that's my intro. Let y'all know what time it is. Like, do what it is. Okay, so what else you working on? Like, uh, you dropped that video. I think you dropped a couple more videos since then. I had dropped the tape. I had dropped yeah, the tape. I had dropped, you dropped my the tape. side of the story. Right. Yeah. Right. You know so what just I mean? just talk about that project and you know what you what what was your intentions on that project? What you wanted what you wanted the people to know? My side of the story was like it was it was it was my it was like everything that I had been through. I spoke on situations and shit how I had felt at the time. I really was just being like honest with the people. When I ain't have to, I ain't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying?